Dylan Sphere Files. Can't sleep? Of course you can't. It's three in the morning and you're on Reddit. I've got something that may be able to help you. A handy little trick. No, not one of those handy little tricks. Doctors hate them. A real relaxation technique that I learned from a certified therapist. A long time ago, I had a mental breakdown. The how and why isn't important. But one day, at 4.30 in the morning, I just snapped and sat bolt upright and began crying. Shortly after that, I found myself in a state of near-constant anxiety, almost all the time. I was positively wretched. I suffered from panic attacks and sleepless nights most evenings, so I sought help for it. It came in the form of an amazing psychotherapist named Paul, who not only helped me through my breakdown, but also taught me a technique that I could use to ground and calm myself during these panic attacks, and also to sleep at night. After some extensive use of hypnosis in order to determine what was causing me to exist in a perpetual state of anxiety and sleeplessness, Paul helped me to relax. He taught me a simple mental activity that I could instigate by myself for the times I needed help outside of his office. The process would cause me to fall into a relaxed trance. Hypnosis DIY, if you will. The process itself is quite simple, but incredibly effective. I know, I sound more and more like a clickbait ad with every sentence, but I can assure you, this is my own life experience. It is in effect merely counting backwards, but there's a reason why counting features a lot in stage hypnosis. It works. It worked brilliantly. After a bit of practice, I was able to repeat this process and induce a mild hypnosis on myself whenever I wanted. I was to use it whenever my anxiety became too great. When I was on the verge of the fifth panic attack of the day, or when I turned to face my bedside clock and saw the infamous it's screw o'clock in the morning flashing in green light, I would stop, take some time to lie down and relax, and begin the process. Then suddenly I'd be sleeping like a baby. Perhaps you'd like to try it for yourself. After all, Counting backwards for a few minutes couldn't cause you any harm. Here's what you have to do. Get yourself comfortable. Lying down somewhere warm is best. Make sure you'll be able to stay there for a little while, undisturbed. Take some time to inhale a deep breath, and then breathe it out as slowly as you can. Repeat this as often as possible, though it's not strictly necessary. Next, look around the room you're in. Count five things that you see. It doesn't matter what they are. It could be a teapot, a shelf, a table, the edge of a painting, the corner of a chair, a games console, a crack in the wall. Just look, and count five things. Say them to yourself, not out loud, but rather inside your head. Next, close your eyes. This time, count five things that you can hear. Once more, it doesn't matter what they are. It could be the sound of your computer whirring, it could be the sound of your breath leaving your body, the sound of the birds outside your window the sound of your stomach grumbling and wondering when it will next be fed. As with the things you can see, list these things inside your head. Next, keep your eyes closed. This time you must count five things that you can feel. This one is a little trickier and requires a slight amount more focus and concentration. Again, it could be anything. It could be the weight of your hand draped over your chest. A sudden itch on the side of your nose. It could be the feeling of your sock elastic digging into your calf. It could be the pillow pressing into the back of your neck, or the rough fabric of your sofa tickling the side of your head. Once more, mentally list these five things in your head. Next, open your eyes. You may already feel your eyelids start to flutter. This is a good sign. The counting is working. If you can't, however, don't fret. We've still a way to go. Because next you need to repeat the process. Except this time, you are to list four things that you can see. Four things you can hear. Four things you can feel. It doesn't matter if you repeat the same things more than once, but it's best to try to concentrate and focus on finding something new each time. After that, three things. Three things you can see, three things you can hear, three things you can feel. You can probably guess what's coming next. Two things. Two things you can see, two things you can hear, two things you can feel. And finally, one thing. One thing you can see, one thing you can hear, one thing you can feel. By this point, most people find that their eyelids have grown heavy so heavy they can barely keep them open to count. Most people don't even notice that they've fallen into a deep trance. This is fine. This is what's meant to happen. It's meant to send you into a deep sleep. Since learning this many years ago, I've been reliant on it. Although my anxiety and insomnia has lessened since then, it's never fully left me. 
I've never forgot the trick my psychotherapist taught me and I still instigate it when necessary. Mostly I use it after a night when I've been tossing and turning with worry, when I stress and fret so much that sleep evades me entirely. After a bit of counting I fall into a deep relaxed trance, and the next day I don't even remember falling asleep. Tonight was such a night. I fumbled around in the darkness until my hand closed over my phone. I fumbled around in the darkness until my hand closed over my phone. 418, it read. I admitted defeat. If I wasn't asleep naturally by now, I never would be. I sighed and settled myself into the familiar position, sprawled comfortably on my back, my arms and legs resting by my sides, while facing the center of my bedroom so I'd find stimulus to count. I took some deep breaths. Here we go. Five things I can see. I can see the white grail on my ceiling, the edge of my long hair framing one side of my face, the black corner of my poster, sharp against the pale wallpaper, the shadow cast by my lampshade, a cobweb hanging motionless in the corner of the ceiling. Five things I can hear. I can hear the whir of my computer, the sound of my breath leaving my body, the sound of the leaves rubbing against my closed window, the sound of my heartbeat slowly thudding against my chest, the sound of my body creaking as it relaxes into my bed. Five things I can feel. I can feel the texture of rough linen sheets against the back of my hands. I can feel the satin pillowcase pressing into the crook of my neck. I can feel my shirt pressing against the front of my chest and stomach. I can feel the elastic of my socks digging into my calf. I can feel my blanket covering, pressing down on my entire body. Four things I can see. I can see the outline of the edge of my bed, dark and sharp against the pale carpet. I can see the shape of the white paperback book I left on the arm of my sofa. I can see the slight shadow of a cobweb fluctuating in the breeze. I can see my glasses, folded neatly and perched on my desk. Four things I can hear. I can hear the wind whistle by outside. I can hear my bed frame creak as I relax and sink deeper into the mattress. I can hear a small tapping sound outside my window. I can hear the faint sound of the fans in my computer spinning around, trying to combat the warmth of the room. Four things I can feel. I can feel my hair fall from the side of my face to the pillow. I can feel the red collar of my shirt pressing into the hollow at my throat. I can feel a cold breeze pass over my exposed skin. I can feel my blanket press against my chest with each rise and fall of my breath. Three things I can see. I can see the faint outline of my old teddy bear, Fraser Bear, sitting motionless at the corner of my bed. I can see the 40 degree angle of my window, softly blowing open in the wind. I can see my long black coat, hanging from a hook on the back of my door. Three things I can hear. I can hear my breaths grow heavy and less frequent, as I settle into a restful sleep. I can hear my floorboards creaking, as if the house is settling. I can hear my stomach gurgling softly. Three things I can feel. I can feel the muscles in my body loosen as I go blissfully limp as the hypnosis takes effect. I can feel myself sinking further into the bed, enveloped by the warmth and texture of the warm linen. I can feel my blanket shift slightly, as if being pulled at the corner. Two things I can see. I can see the flickering of my fairy lights reflected in the screen of my turned off television. I can see a white face peeking over the edge of my bed. Two things I can hear. I can hear the breeze outside dissipate until there's no more sound. I can hear my heart thudding against my chest like it's trying to get out. Two things I can feel. I can feel my eyelids drooping, growing heavy as the counting takes effect. I can feel a sudden cold sharpness at the base of my skull. One thing I can see. I can see the edge of my bed. It's empty. One thing I can hear. I can hear deafening silence, the complete absence of sound. One thing I can feel. I can feel the end of my bed sinking slightly. I fall into a deep, black sleep.